the documentary? Well, it, it's we say the Me Too movement and all these other things. We were kind of inspired to do it after the whole Harvey Weinstein and the Bill Cosby things were breaking. And we started just filming our friends with some of their stories in Hollywood and what had happened to them. And then we uncovered this case from the 1990s where 12 actresses took a talent agent to, to court for sexually assaulting them and actually mm -hmm. won. And we were, our question was, why did we not hear about this? Why did this go on and nobody knew? I mean, because if we had known about it, if the press had covered it, if we knew the whole story, maybe your wine, Harvey Weinsteins would not have happened. Mm. Maybe all this might not have occurred. The concept of the casting couch mm -hmm. has existed for decades before the whole Me Which Too we cover movement. in this, too. We cover a lot of the history of how that happened and how it started. Let's take a look at the trailer for the film. Wow. I'm very curious. What's your personal reason behind producing this film? Why did you choose now to tell these stories? Well, I think as a woman who's made her entire living in Hollywood, yeah. um, I've been doing this since I was... 10 years old. I've never had another job. Mm -hmm. um, it's a business I dearly love, but and that has been very good to me. But there is a whole other side of it that I think just now, because of these instances, because society has changed, we are actually talking about it. Um, and one of the points we make in the movie is, you know, when the whole Harvey Weinstein thing again came out, all these stars are saying, oh, I had no idea. I mean, that, that's BS. We all knew. Mm -hmm. Everybody knew. We all saw it, but society didn't really allow us to talk about it. But it's, now it does. Yeah, it's interesting. Uh, I've been around some celebrities where they, they're so, th their entire community around them will never call them out on anything because uh -huh. they're, they have so much power in their name. Uh -huh. And it's, it's, uh, it's quite sick, you know. And I think that for you to take on this documentary, I want to, you know, I think it, it takes some courage because it's scary. You know, even though like none of us want to see anything happen to anyone, still to step up and and, and have a voice and, and do what you just did is, is scary because some people will shun it, some people mm -hmm. won't. And so what's that been like for you to to come out with, you know, really stepping and, and being that voice for him? I personally have not, to my knowledge, suffered any, you know, repercussions of this. Unless the long-time actress who starred that. in multiple soap operas over the years has died. Andre Evans, the beautiful lady, actually passed away on Sunday from a result of health-related issues. According to the casting director, uh, Mr. Don Carroll, he has come out and said it's unclear what sort of illness she was battling with when actually she had been diagonized. She has been suffering with health related uh, issues over the past couple of months so today she has passed on very devastating and saddening news. She is by the way perhaps one of the most famous for playing uh, Tina Lord on the One Life to Live. Um, she also started on that series way back in the late 70s and of course uh, she had a memorable run through uh, the 80s and of course even the 90s popping back even up to um, just as early as 2010 with uh, recurring appearances. She has been a well, she has been a well spoken beautiful intelligent lady, a very talented lady lady on the screen and of course her loss comes as um, as a very huge loss to the entertainment and the movie and the soap opera industry. She had gone on to a star, to star in a lot of other soaps including the iconic ones. Um, for me personally I like The Bold and the Beautiful. She had, by the way even appeared in close to I think 150 to 155 episodes and The Young and the Restless which had her 19 different times. Andre also did a significant amount of work on passions uh, which featured which featured in her actually which where she featured um, in close to seven, 627 episodes uh, portraying Rebecca Hotchkiss. Um, she also stayed in other shows as well as Devante, The Bay, Out of Control, Chips and so many others. She has been really a very talented lady. Uh, personally I loved her even in Passions uh, that show that ran throughout the 90s during our childhood. It was really entertainment most especially I had my big sisters really enjoying the show when I was growing up and also later on I started uh, falling in love with it together with the likes of Generations and so many other um, TV shows. So she's been one of those ladies who is very much recognized and appreciated within the soaps industry.
She had been out of the press for a couple of years now as a result of continuous stalking from fans. That's why she went a little bit back. So her passing on really leaves a very huge dent and space within the entertainment industry. We send our deepest condolences to the family, friends, and the fans globally who really enjoyed and loved her works during the soaps, most especially in Passions. So in this moment in time, we are sending our deepest condolences and all we can say is rest in power the beautiful Andre Evans and rest in power the queen and we are praying for your family we are praying for your fans we are praying for the fa um, the friends those who are really very close to you because we all know they are going through a very tough time